I look crazy. You know, ma'am. <laughs> That's more like it, okay? So I did some fat doo-doo braids, okay? And not even going cap to you. So yeah, you can't tell that these are crocheted. Hold it, got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so hot, yeah? I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Tara Brianna. If you don't know, now you know. And now we're best friends. Like to me, she said. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. When you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss an upload from me. And make sure that you follow me on social media because I do post there outside of YouTube, okay? I know you see the title and the thumbnail. Today, we are going to be doing some crochet braids where we're going to make them look good. I promise you, okay? So here is my natural hair, my natural curl pattern. Just wanted to show you guys what I use to shampoo and condition. I use Shea Moisture. This specific type, though, that's the only thing that I use from the brand for real for real. I know a lot of people don't like it, but that works great for my hair. I'm also going to use this Lotta Body Milk Honey Leave-In Cream. And then I'm going to be using this Detangler and this Gem Re Blow Dryer from Amazon. So let's get right into the tutorial, okay? Oh, I know you lying. I look crazy. No, ma'am. <laughs> That's more like it, okay? So once you have your hair nice and blow dry, you're going to section out a part of your hair in the front to do the actual braids, okay? So make sure you get a good amount for about two rows of plaits, braids, whatever you want to call it. You're going to use your recto comb, some shine and jam to make sure that the parts are nice and crisp. And then you're just going to comb roll that hair so it's out of your way. It's very important to do two rows of braids in the front because you're going to want to cover the crochets in the back. Okay? Okay, so now that we have something looking like this, we're going to tackle the hair in the back. Okay, you see all that hair. Yes, ma'am. We are about to chrome roll this. Y'all know me. I keep my hair in for about two to three days and then I take it out. So I did some fat doo-doo braids, okay? And not even going cap to you. If you want this style to look nice and neat and professional, I suggest that you do smaller braids. Take your time and really do a nice, neat, and tight braid down. Similar to a sewing, you know? Once you get your braid down, you're going to want to attach that last braid with some needle and thread to the rest of your hair so everything is nice, neat, laid down, and protected, okay? After that, I'm going to make sure that I oil my scalp with some oil. This is a protective style. We take care of our hair over here, all right? And then we're going to get into the crochet process. <laughs> It's worth the 
right here i'm using some pro growth oil it's really really good for my hair and do y'all see my man foot in the back oh my god that's ghetto but anyways this is what we look like i know we look crazy right now but you gotta trust the process so this video is sponsored by my ceo handmade hair i hope that i pronounced that right they are a brand from amazon.com thank y'all so much for sponsoring today's video they sent me over these boho braids and they're super duper cute they make sure that they send you a crochet needle just in case you do not have one and i believe that this hair is in 24 inches with a boho curl at the end and throughout the braid um all of this information and the direct links will be linked in my description box below so make sure that you tune in make sure that you check it out so y'all can go shop with them okay period you know it's going to come with amazon prime shipping um the company was very very nice and very easy to work with so we love that honey and this style really came out cute like comment down below if y'all was like really sleeping on crochet like hairstyles like outwards because i definitely was but this came out so cute so here's an up close um look at the braid and now we are going to get into attaching this to our scalp all you're going to do is put the needle through your hair and then you're going to attach the braid through that little hoop at the top you're going to make sure that you close the latch and pull it through once you pull it through you're going to open the latch and slide the braid down keep the braid on the needle and you're going to take the end of the braid clip it through and pull it through super easy with boho braids with the curl being attached to the hair it's kind of difficult because you don't want to snag on the hair so kind of take your time but um i promise you it's really easy to uh it's really easy to attach these to your hair like i kid you not i did this style in about two and a half hours i was taking my time though i could have went faster but it's really easy and then you just pull it tight at the top when you're done so i'm going to show you guys that again because i really hope that y'all are getting it put the needle through your hair attach the braid through the loop close the latch and pull it through then you're going to open the latch and keep the braid on the needle as you take the end of the braid clip it close the latch pull it through easy peasy lemon squeezy honey okay like like i said if you really want this style to look really really cute do smaller cone rows so the braids can be closely attached to your scalp and it's going to turn out so cute especially if you do the front by hand oh it's going to come out so fire okay so now i'm going to speed through this process just because i don't want you guys to be here all day so this is what it looks like when i do one full cone row you see how all the braids are attached they're laying down flatly even though my braids are thick they were laying down flatly so this is what it looks like with my full head and now we're gonna get into the front so um i didn't like how it was obviously a gap with that middle section right there so i just went ahead and attached more braids to the center and i closed up that gap so now our braids are looking flat don't worry there's a little gap in the back i did make sure to fill that in with more braids so it'll look cute in the end i promise now i'm just going to take out the braids because i want to use the same exact hair so once you unravel those braids this is what it looks this is what it's going to look like and i'm just going to regularly do some knotless braids in the front of my hair using the same exact hair so yeah this part is really self-explanatory i will say that the most difficult part of this whole process was pulling the hair apart because you're gonna want to section your hair into threes like i'm doing right here and you're gonna regularly braid down really tightly to your scalp and then you're gonna attach a section of hair to your index finger and then you're just gonna braid down like normal so doing the actual braids was super easy but the part that made this process take a little bit longer was pulling the hair apart so if you aren't too crazy about making sure that the hair matches perfectly you can get some pre-stretched hair like some regular pre-stretched conicolon hair and use that so the process could be a little bit quicker but yeah like i said i wanted the hair to match perfectly i wanted the curl pattern to be the same so i went ahead and unraveled those braids and attached them to my hair by hand so yeah right now i'm just gonna show you guys me doing the knotless braids and i'll come back when those are done I, 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 
love She can my decisions how we can get into love it's I'm good, what's the difference? Still good, it's been the difference I'm good, what's the difference? If it's still good, it's not so exclusively It used to be all good, all bad Say love, that's more than So hard to love Darling, you make it too hard to Y'all see how good and how cute these are turning out. Like, oh, my Lanta. I was so pressed. So, I'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks. Make sure that you keep out your edges. Section those out before you braid your hair down. And make sure that when you pull the braids over, they're covering all of that crochet work in the back. You also want to make sure that you're using a comb or an edge brush to pull the hair together so you have no lumps and make sure that you braid the braids in the direction that you want them to lay so everything can be nice and flat and seamless okay you guys i'm back full head is completado the background is a mess i know i'm sorry but all i have to say is crochet wear crochet wear Let's let's flip it to this side. You know what I'm saying? Let's flip it to this side. Crochet where? Crochet where? I will tell you that this side is cuter than this side simply because I think the light was facing this way the whole time I was doing my hair. So I was really able to see the nitty gritty and get up in there and everything. But you guys, my hair is cute. Okay. And I'm not just saying that. Because I did it and because it's my hair. No. Like, literally. Hold on. Let me get it how I had it. Because it was perfect the way I had it. On this side. I'm feeling this side. Feeling myself. Feeling myself. It was something like this, right? I think it was something like this. Please excuse the background if you hear my family. They just be jumping like that in this house. But yeah, you guys. On oh, home, I'm not just saying that my hair is cute because of my hair, like, no. I always, like, thought that crocheting hair was going to be ugly. It's going to turn out ugly. It's not cute. It's, it's not natural. If you look really close, you probably can see that, you know, it wasn't individually done. Blah, 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 blah. Girl, all of those ideas and that old mindset literally is thrown out of the window, okay? Because my hair looks flat. This took two and a half to three hours. Simply because I had a hard time separating the hair because I just wanted all the hair to blend in perfectly. And I'm not even done yet, you guys. I'm just coming in here really quick to talk because I still have to get these ends together um, for the front of the hair. Um, and that's just because I am a perfectionist. It really don't look that bad, to be honest. Yeah, this one's a little... Yeah, we gotta fix it. But, you guys... My hair is pretty, like, okay, first off, let's talk about the benefits and stuff. Um, I'll probably just show y'all a clip of me dipping the ends and me styling my baby hairs while I'm talking to you guys because I'm just excited and I cannot wait until the end of the video, okay? First off, if I was to have done my hair individually like this, it would have took two days, okay? You know, like washing my hair, conditioning my hair, blow drying my hair, sectioning my hair, separating all of the hair, putting it onto this little rod, this little stand or whatever, individually doing them, taking breaks to eat in between, um, allowing my back some time to chill out and my hands and my arms some time to chill out. I would have ran through two of these big things of Shine and Jam, um... And I would have, I had, I would have had a mental breakdown in between, all that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like that's usually how I do my regular hair. Um, you know, down to my butt. Like that's what I go through. You know what I'm saying? But my hair is nice and full. It's pretty. I was able to make my braiding pattern match the back of my hair perfectly by like 
doing overhand instead of underhand. Um, it took me a little bit longer to do underhand, I mean overhand because I'm not used to it, but it was worth it because it matches perfectly. My hair is super duper full. And don't get me wrong, you probably can see a little bit of, you probably can tell that it's crochet because I didn't want to sit here and take my time doing all those itty bitty comb rolls because I hate taking comb rolls out. So, um, so yeah, it may or may not be perfect. It's not perfectly flat down here because I do have a lot of hair underneath, you know, but it got the job done, you know what I'm saying, like. I give the way I did this style so far it's like an 8 out of 10. I could have made it perfect, but y'all, y'all know me. I'm going to take this style out in two days, so I didn't want to be here all day, but I love this. This hair is soft. Do not get me wrong. This type of braiding hair is softer than regular Kanekalon hair that you are going to get out of the beauty supply. Is it difficult to separate? Yeah, because it's been braided up and tied together and curled. So of course it's gonna be a little um of course it's gonna be a little bit difficult taking those apart. But other than that the hair is soft. Like it's not scratching my skin. It's not making me itch like some connect along hair be doing. Girl this is some nice really really nice hair good quality and it's very affordable. It's from Amazon you know what I'm saying? So I am just Shooketh, you know what I'm saying? I'm shooketh. Um, and the fact that it didn't take me a long time to do, it just was really amazing. Look at that, y'all. Look at this. I can do different styles. Definitely can do me a little uh, half up, half down. And you don't even know this. That is crochet under there. Unless you're really, really looking. And if you're really looking that hard, please please get about my head this one is a little loose unfortunately because i didn't want to pull my hair crazy right there but y'all oh who this don't look good wait until i flick my edges and everything oh i love it i give it a 10 out of 10 baby okay and i love how i braided my hair down a little bit longer so you actually see more braids in the front versus just curls i think this is super duper cute and i was a little skeptical and i was even like kind of like teeter-tottering on if i wanted to do the sponsorship but i'm so glad that i did because this turned out amazing i feel so cute you can't tell me nothing this length isn't even like what i usually go for but i think it's so cute and i think it's a different little situation that i got going on and i love it so yeah you guys um i'm gonna come back when everything is done my makeup's done i look cute um just so you guys can see the final final products um and yeah ah it's lit all right okay y'all so this is the finished result edges done i curled the ends it doesn't match exactly to the ends that they provided me with but that's the closest we gonna get okay after a couple of days they'll like they'll calm down and they won't be as like spirally they'll be more wavy but yeah 10 out of 10 recommend doing this i think i'm gonna do this again with locks featuring the same company fingers crossed um and if i don't do it on myself again i'll probably do it on my mom so yeah you can't tell that these are crocheted and it took me like three and a half hours but if i was like really grinding it would have took like two and a half but i was like taking my time and stuff but yeah super cute <laughs> feeling myself okay anyways um make sure you check the description box you can get all the links for the hair they're on amazon as well so maybe i'll like link my amazon shopping cart down below um yeah make sure you like comment share and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye mama Hold it, got the dumb yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On it, on it, on it, on it.